back to be an e Stitchery. I'm Brandy. And I'm Emma. Welcome. Yes. <laughs> minute, minute. <laughs> we suck at intros. <laughs> yeah, and, ex and extras too. We, we've nailed that down. Yeah. We've gotten better. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Okay. Um, let's see. Life updates. Life updates. I've I don't really want to share yet, but I've got a really exciting, stressful thing going on. It's a lot. But she doesn't want to share yet. Well, it's not official, so yeah. I like don't want to get. Well, you it know what? Everybody's official. been through it. it I'm is buying official. a house. <laughs> I'm buying a house right now. Um, our inspection is on Tuesday. Our offer was accepted last Sunday, so six days ago. I've got the mortgage all set. I've got our insurance quote. I've got the title contract signed. Like. <laughs> this week has been really stressful yeah. and I have not stitched since our offer was accepted. So I don't have a lot to show because of that because my afternoons after work have been calling insurance companies and answering Filling emails paperwork and paperwork and, yeah. and getting and documents. and It's going to be that way until you probably yeah. move, honey, but you yeah. know what? It's going to be worth it in <gasps> the end. I know. It is a lot, my friends. A I lot. <laughs> When well, I was been, going through my move no, and building this house and stuff like that, I, I, I feel you. I had the same, the same issues. So. Yeah, it's a lot, but we are very excited, and I can't wait. It's got a lot of land, so Casey excited. will be excited to hunt. And <laughs> I'm excited for you. I'm excited. This is awesome, and yeah. you know, having your first, it, you know, your first home is gonna be. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome, and you're gonna have so much more room. I know it's literally like just over double our square footage of our apartment right now. Mm -hmm. So, and like my kitchen in my apartment has literally one cabinet. Well, I mean, you guys have seen it. Yeah, <laughs> that's the that's, size of that's our kitchen. my kitchen. <laughs> that's in our background. So I literally have like one cabinet. So I'm excited to have like a full size kitchen. There's a little island. Like, I'm just I'm very excited. Still trying to not get my hopes up because like something could go wrong in the inspection that we don't want to commit right. to. But. Um, at this point, it's really just the inspection and then waiting. A lot of waiting. Why does this process take so freaking long? <laughs> well, things have to happen. <laughs> I know, but like, I've done everything on my end. The mortgage is signed. The lo you know what I'm saying? Like, Banks have to take time to do things. So well, it'll yeah. be good. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> it'll be great once you can move. Yeah. It'll be good. But other than that, I've been working like 55 to 60 hours a week because it's busy season. And, and you're going to be moving can you tell? on top I, of that. And then you're I know. your CPA. And... I know. We, I said to Casey, I was like, we've been looking for a house for almost a year now. And of course we find one during the busiest time of year. It's but never going to work out perfect. No, it know? never does, but that's fine. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm sick. <laughs> I um, feel okay. I just sound horrible and I have, you know, cough and whatever. But um, we were supposed to go to the Crafty Girl Vulcan today. And I'm still going. I really, really, really want to go. That's why I'm like. Yeah, I want to <laughs> go because I want to go, but I don't want to get other people mm -hmm. sick. So I'm not going. Sad day. But. <laughs> Try not to breathe on you. No, she's fine. She's just being conscious of other people. So, yes. Which is nice of you. Yes. So, um... Let's just jump right into whippity doo da FFO, all the things. Yeah. So, we're going to do FFO, FFO first. For once, I have nothing and she has something. Mark it on the calendar. Yes. <laughs> um, first, I wanted to show... Oh, yes. I didn't have a chance to show this and I don't know why I didn't, but... Um, during our library stitchers, we did a swap and I did not show this beautiful, um, Plum Street sampler is it that Plum Missy Street? stitched me. Yes. It is so beautiful. Her stitching so, is so great. Oh my gosh. It is gorgeous. It's so tiny and petite and it's Adorable. just, and it's perfect because it's like a welcome thing for my new home so mm -hmm. it you know I just love it and when Missy asked me because you know how you give things away and you forget to take pictures and stuff she asked me to take a picture and I was like I never showed that on our floss tube so I wanted to show this and I just wanted to show how beautiful it is and I I just absolutely love this I think she finished this on a Chantel mm -hmm. board and it's got these little um hook things on the sides that she tied lace to so 
Super it's cute. beautiful. I love it so much. Sitting in my stitchy thing. So I think I had mentioned um, that I was doing the Holly Jones Blackbird Exchange Sal. Uh, not Sal. Blackbird Exchange Swap. swap. Um, and we all are picking our own small Blackbird and we have a person that we're assigned to do and they gave us their initials and their birthday and stuff so you can make things personal. So I am gonna hide her initials because I don't want, behind this is a bird, but this is my finish. It is a box and it says, cannot count my day complete till needle, thread and fabric meet. And it's so cute. I've got a little bit of um, Lady Dot pom-pom around it, the vintage pom-pom. And on the inside, I did some Blackbird fabric. It looks great, Mom. So, cute little box. And you can it store it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can store it this way or you can have it flat. But, yeah, thank you for helping me. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? There's 40 people, so I don't know if... Yeah. She'd know her initials or like pay attention. I don't even know if she watches this, but I'm very, very excited. So I'm going to hopefully get this mailed out next week. And I have a few little goodies that I'm going to put in her, her bag too. So Because mom's extra like that. I like to give goodies. You know, like you like to receive them. I like yeah. to give them too. Yeah. So, and then, that's um, so that's my FFO. Can't believe I actually finished something. Um, and then I also... Finished Valentine Quaker from Primrose. And I stitched this on 18 count um, vanilla something from Grace Notes. Vanilla, I don't know, I don't have Latte. a thing. I, it might, I don't know, Cream. it's vanilla, no, vanilla something. Vanilla something Grace Notes. From Grace Notes and I love it. It's got like a, I, I think, it doesn't have a pinky tinge to it, but because of this thread, it, it looks, looks like pink. it has a pinky tinge yeah. to it, so I love it. And the thread I used was a dinky dye um, called Bushfire, mm -hmm. and I was so afraid I was gonna run out of it, and right. I didn't, so. So she ordered a whole extra I skein of it. I ordered a whole extra skein. I didn't wanna run out. I know. But, I, but now we know you can do a Quaker. Yeah. A Primrose Quaker with one skein of Dinky Dye. I think Dinky Dye has eight meters, and I can't remember how many yards that is. And she, if you're referencing, you're doing 18 count with two strands. Two strands, yes. So if you want to do a Valentine Quaker with Dinky Dye silks, you can use, you can one. use one strand. Yeah. Uh, one skein. And yes. It will be enough. For Even two if you're using two strands. Um, Maybe not on a 14 count, though. Yes. Like if you're doing yeah. It, yeah. Stephanie is doing just one strand, I believe, on 36. And she had plenty. And she had yeah. plenty. So, yeah. yeah. I love it. Uh, and she had to rip out a lot, too. So, she said this was like the corner of... Itchy double hockey sticks. <laughs> yeah. She said, I've done that like three times. It caught me, too, though, because I thought I was supposed to like go over Finish all the it? way. Oh. And you're not. It yeah. like cuts off. So, I had to take out. But I only had to do it once. <laughs> you. Yeah. So I also have a Valentine-ish um, finish, and this is Big Hearted Tiny Town mm -hmm. <laughs> by Heart and Hand. Am I gonna keep the track rolling? I had a Tiny Town finish last floss tube, and I have a Tiny Town finish this. Oh, don't put tube. that out into the world, cause uh, I know. Who knows what no promises. <laughs> but here she is. Oh. I love it. I don't have the buttons on yet because I made a mistake with the Christmas one. I should not have put the buttons on because now it's rolled up and it's going to get wrinkly um, for when I finish it. You should so wait. I'll have to like iron around. Yeah, you should wait until you're like fin gonna FFR finish it. it. Yeah. yeah, so I am keeping the pattern with the little buttons until I FFO it. But Well, don't forget to pass the patterns to me. I will not. And my friend wants some too. She you guys, does. I got my friend into counted cross stitch. I'm so excited. She's my best friend. I'm her, the maid of honor in her wedding in August, and she's the maid of honor in my wedding in October. So, like, and we stitch together all the time. Like, we stitch and watch movies. And it's just, <laughs> oh, uh, I love that for you, too. Yeah. It's good to have stitchy besties. It's good to have stitchy besties. Like, I don't want to say this the wrong way, but like, someone my age, so we can, like, right. talk about 
Yeah, because who things. wants to hang out with your mom all day? <laughs> no, I love hanging out with you, and I love hanging out with all of my other stitchy friends that are older than me. I'm not discriminating, but, like, the fact that she was my best friend before. Like, it's just different. But I love her, and I'm so excited that she's stitching now. I know. I hope that she, like, will come to some of our stuff. I know. She's, like, she's stitching, but she's not... <laughs> She calls cross stitching a cult. So she says the fact that there's a whole like YouTube genre about it and a whole like retreat thing. And she's like, I don't know if I'm ready to dive in that far, but I started her with stamped just how you started me with stamped. And she did two stamped kits, like small ones. And then she was like, okay, I think I'm ready. So we went to Hobby Lobby and got her like this tiny little dimensions kit. And she did that counted and she was like, okay, you're right. Counted is way more fun. It is more fun. So I was fun. like, thank you. And you have more variety, mm -hmm. like stamped, like, you know. I know, it's pretty limited. So. And it's all cutesy, like. Yeah. So yeah. we, um, sh that was a paper pattern. And not I to hate like, on stamped. No, no, I'm not <laughs> hating on stamped. That's how I started. Like, right. No. Um, so she was doing it with a paper pattern and she's like, oh, this thing is so obnoxious. I always lose my place. So then I introduced her to good notes and PDF patterns and how easy and convenient Etsy is. And now she's got her own <laughs> PDF chart like thing going and I'm super excited. So we'll talk more about that, um, in my plans, but I'm, I'm, I'm just so excited that she's stitching. I'm so, so happy for you. Yeah. And That's she wants good. to do all the tiny towns. So I've got to make sure that gets to her too. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, she absolutely can have them before me because she probably has less to stitch than I do. <laughs> I know we went through my patterns like my pattern binder and she was like oh, I want to stitch that and like have it <laughs> yeah now I'm like I just want you to do it like right <laughs> yeah so I gave her some 16 like I gave her a fat quarter of 16 count and a 14 count and uh, I'm just so excited I've started her DMC collection like I'm so excited that's awesome yeah. anyways second finish for me um this is also a start and a finish since our last floss tube um this is oh I should probably get the pattern out. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter because it's a finish, but it's Mad for Plaid series from Hands on Design. And I actually did this winter one. And oh, I shouldn't have done that because now my floss is not. Whatever. I'll fix it later. <laughs> and here it is. Oh. Hang on. Let you know, there me. is something about a black fabric with, you know what I mean? It like, makes it, it does. And I know a lot of people don't like stitching on black, but look at the colors. I know. It is super pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited to have these finished. Yeah. So, um, I hate black. It's not fun. And my, I was a dumb donkey. <laughs> I'm a dumb donkey. And <laughs> I decided to do 32 count even weave black. <laughs> You should have made sure that you liked stitching on black before you dove into the I Lugana know. part of it. Well, I was like all in this like, oh my God, I like Lugana. I can do it. And then I was like, I want to do these. Let's do it on Lugana. And I have regrets. Ada would have been easier. It would have been easier, but I did it. And this only took me like four stitching sessions. Like yeah. it wasn't, it didn't take me that long. It's beautiful. And all of them are the same size. So I'm going to be starting the spring one coming up here pretty soon and these are all the DMC colors for all of the Do seasonal ones. Do you have ones, the spring so. pattern to show? Yeah. Well, they're all, there's not really a good picture of it. Oh. This one. What is on it? Is it's it It's like birds and... Robins and baskets with flowers and strawberries. Oh. So I'm going to be starting that one soon, but I need to give myself a little bit of a break from this black 32 count. Mm-hmm. Because mm, <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. But I've got the whole... Kit and caboodle of all of them, so I'm definitely going to be continuing this series. And that's what's great about a series. I yes. love a series. Like this one, the Easter one. Oh my god, how freaking cute. With you know what bunny we forgot? Tail. My box of sheen. Oh, we can, once we like finish haul and everything, we'll stop the video, go grab it, and then do yeah. it by hand. Oh, okay. we're going to have a box of shame. <laughs> yes, stay tuned because we're finally going through mom's box of shame. Yes. So I'm going to start with my whips. Yep. Okay. You want to flop back and forth? Sure, whatever. How many do you have? Three. Oh. So I um, started Lucy Beams buying cross-stitch like I'm a mortal. Uh, there we go. Cute. 
And I just did my own color conversion. So this is a start. It is, yeah. Um, I got Bayberry and Mulberry from uh, um, the Crafty Grimalkin. And then I also got, I love these cottage garden threads. Mm -hmm. And great. Reese has them at the Crafty Grimalkin, so I've been scoffing these up. And this is Blue Wren, which will be the blue flowers across the top. But I've made quite a bit of progress. Look at you go. And I'm stitching this in a Morgan hoop. And we're obsessed. I am obsessed. I have I only stitch in a hoop when I have two strands. I, I use the sewing method when I do one okay. strand. And I love this. I mean, I like a nerch hoop too, but I'm loving that. So, and I'm so close. Like those words go so fast. So I love it. All right. I um, worked on the infamous brooms there that I charted with the app Stitchly. I just grabbed this um, picture from the internet and stuck it in that app and um, didn't get very far, but I basically filled in from everything from here over. So it That's was just a lot of progress. Still a though. lot of feeling. I love it. So there you go. <laughs> whoop de doo I, <laughs> I think it's great. I filled it in when I was watching the Bruins game, so it went pretty fast. And it was a sad Bruins game. They lost four to one, mm -hmm. so not much exciting things to make me stop at stitching, so I got pretty good progress on yeah, it. Yeah, you can't win them all. Nope. And that's what being a, a Boston fan is about, <laughs> is you can't win them all. <laughs> you have to take the good with the bad. I brought out Live on Little by Plum Street because um, my friend Cheryl is doing whip go and she's like, my live on little got called and I was like, well, I'll stitch it with you. So um, I worked on the roof part right there, but on camera, you can see my yeah. birds a little bit better. It's way better. In person, it's you ghost. cannot see it hardly ghost at town all. city. So, That's crazy because normally like stuff on camera shows up less. I know. So what I'm doing, and I haven't started it yet, but we tried ripping it out last night at like I eight o'clock, and then we were like, I was like, I don't want to do that. So my thread is eight two two, and I'm gonna switch it to a grayer seven six two, and I'm hoping that it's gonna show up better. Show it up on your fabric. Yeah, I think it will. Compared to. Compared to that. This. Yeah. I, I think, think it's going to, yeah, me too. Because the church and the um, sail of the boat is all in this too. And all the mortar and around the house. Show. I want everything to show because I'm putting a lot, this mm -hmm. is a big piece, putting a lot of effort into it. So I'm definitely going to, and I was like, I really should have thought more when I was picking my fabric. I love the color of this fabric. It's very nice. And once you have those blues of the sea and stuff in there, I know. it's going to like... And, like, I love the way my flowers look on this fabric. Mm -hmm. So I do like the fabric. I just... I needed to change... So it wasn't the fabric choice. It was the floss choice. Yeah. Remember when um, Cheryl was saying that? Like, she was, like, flip-flopping between fabrics, like, three or four times. Uh -huh. And she ended up stitching with two threads. And she was like, that's, oh. <laughs> that's what it was. It was, it was the thread, not the fabric. Yeah. So... Sometimes you just gotta try a few things out and don't be afraid to like do change different. things. Yeah. I mean, it is gonna stink because I do have to take those two birds out and part of the but chimney. Like, but at least it wasn't the whole sale. Exactly, you know? like, exactly. Yeah. I we mean, we caught it at a good time. And I, you know, I was like, I could keep going and just leave it ghosty, mm -hmm. but I'm not gonna be happy with it. So, Every time you look at it, you're gonna yeah, be like, oh. I'm gonna be sad. So, Which is I'm glad way. that I'm changing it. What's your next one? My next whip is Blooming Tiny Town by Heart and Hand, which guys, are you so excited to see what Heart and Hand's putting out for a new tiny town for market? Because I'm losing my brains. I just wanna know what it is. I obviously can't buy it. I just wanna know what it is so I can put it on my friggin' list. I know. Um, we were talking about market stuff and you know, I'm trying to only buy one pattern a month and Emma's on a no buy at all. So, um, we're like, oh, what, you know, I mean, obviously the Brenda Jure is. That's technically not part of market. It's not market, not but it's released at the same time. So yeah. I am getting her 
Um, the spring. The spring one yeah. is I'm definitely getting. It's and the one that's that, in the same series as um, I had the name and then it just left. Home, sweet home. Yes, home and sweet home. Be thankful. Be thankful. And all those. What is the other one? Joy and good cheer. Yes, which so, you've stitched all three, right? Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm oh, not done with home sweet home. Oh, that's but. one of your 95 percenters. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, whatever. Let me show this whip now. <laughs> squirrel, squirrel, here it is. So, since the last time you saw it, I finished this house right here. So, this is just over 50%. Bless you. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> it's good. Um, I was just sick too in January, so like, I'm probably you probably had what I had back then, so. Uh, I think Brenna brought me home something. From school. Mm-hmm. Gross. Yeah, well, tis the season. Tis the season. Oh, I also wanted to mention Marjorie Maid's Pick-A-Whip. I'm obsessed with her. I'll talk about it in my other whip. But this is going to be my Pick-A-Whip for the first two weeks of February because her Pick-A-Whip was something with flowers. Oh, so, good. This has a lot of flowers. Um, these Lazy Daisies are intimidating me, though, and that's on the next house. So. What is a Lazy Daisy? It's a embroidery stitch oh like you, it, i mean she teaches you how to do it here in the chart but i'm still intimidated by it mm. <laughs> you know who might be able to help you with auntie sarah yes, she, does she does embroidery yeah i'll have to facetime her i've never done embroidery so i can't help you and i'm terrible at french knots too so Ugh, i too. know I hate them. <laughs> so um last weekend I think it was, uh, we had a bi-weekly stitch mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, the Pink Stitchers reached out and said, we would love to stitch with you guys um, because we're doing the Heaven and Nature Sal together. So we got to stitch with Jamie and Chris and it was so much We wish much Erica fun. was there. I know. But she's too fun for us. No, I'm just <laughs> Erica's too fun for us. <laughs> She's busy. So this is heaven and nature. And I mean, honestly, all I have is more deer booty. So yeah, but like you're almost done with I'm the body. I'm almost with here. the body and I'm coming down on the legs now. Like, come so, on. That's big progress. It is big progress. I've done a lot of stitching on his booty. So you can see here that I am coming down on the leg right there. Mm, this way <laughs> right there yeah so coming down on his back leg and then I'll start his head did you go from like mm -hmm. railroading to one stitch at a time yeah That's I didn't I yeah so or not railroading yeah what's that called what I don't do you know go? where you like one do leg. one leg at the and yeah. then come back that I did that yeah is, that like, there, is there a method I don't know what it's called but yes <laughs> I'll show my back just because Emma pointed it out but well, it's I, you don't have to show it. It's just, I didn't realize what the I got the bored back doing it. That's fair. So. That is a fair argument. Yeah. So anyway, I am. Um, and most of the time I cross my X's. I don't do the one leg and then go back. I do the one leg and go back if it's like more than five stitches and if I'm using DMC. Yeah. If I'm using a fancy floss, I cross all my stitches one at a time. Yeah, I so mostly cross my stitches one at a time just because that's, you know, the way I'm used to it. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. That was your last whip. That's my last whip, yeah. Okay, I have two more. So this one is Rainbow Hot Air Balloon by Apple Tree Cross Stitch. I'm super excited to have this done for my future office in my new potential house. Your crawfish? My crawfish. Um, until I have kids and then I'm not going to have it, <laughs> but you'll have it for one kid, right? Yeah. This bedroom, this bathroom, uh, bedroom, what? <laughs> this house has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. So it'll be, I'll have a crawfish for a little while. Yeah. Okay. Here it is. Oh, super fun to the stitch. The purple's my favorite, I think. Okay. So I was just going to say, I pulled, the only reason I pulled this out was because of Marjorie Maine's pick a whip. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> she's like whipping you into. I know. She's just making me pull out all the things I wouldn't have touched. So um, the pick a whip prompt was your favorite color. Stitch something that is either a fabric of your favorite color or a floss of your favorite color. And yellow and purple are my favorite colors. 
So this checks both of the boxes. Um, I wouldn't have stitched on this if it weren't for that pick a whip because this is very summery to me. Um, and I stitched on this for five weekdays. So on the weekdays, I really only get about, I don't know, an hour and, and a half, half. Yeah. maybe two hours a night. So it's not like I can get a crap ton of progress. Um, and I use, I don't know if you stitch an hour every day, like I mean, it, it adds up, progress. it adds up yeah. for sure. Cause before I only had like these three colors and then I went all the way over here and filled in a little bit of the yellow on the top just so I could stitch some of the yellow and say that I stitched my favorite color to check the box. Yeah. But I was doing um, the five day rotation that Missy has kind of trademarked and I like doing that because I like not having to think about what I'm gonna pull out mm -hmm. to stitch after a work day, um, an 11 hour work day. <laughs> my brain is already like, whoa. <laughs> so um, I like it for that sense, but when it comes to Friday night, I'm like, I'm bored mm -hmm. of this piece. Mm -hmm. So I think because I don't stitch on Wednesdays for my CPA class, I'm gonna do two days, Monday, Tuesday, and then Thursday, Friday, mm -hmm. and do two whips a week. Yeah. And then weekends are free for alls. Who knows, free for all. Who knows what I'm gonna do on a weekend? <laughs> It'll be crazy. So, next stitch. Um, there will not be a floss tube of ours and, and without this piece until it's finished because I'm obsessed with it. Um, and that is the Blue Flower Forest Home. And it's beautiful. I love this piece. Oh, I can't wait for you to come down more. I know. That hummingbird is beautiful, but she said it, this hummingbird has seven. <laughs> I am so bad at this. This, oh, this one right here. This little hummingbird. Seven different colors in it. In that little itty bitty hummingbird. But it was worth it because it's cute. It's beautiful. Yeah. So I am stitching this on 32 count weathered stone. I didn't say what I was stitching anything on. Oopsie. Mm -hmm. Anyways, 32 count weathered stone by Atomic I don't Ranch. Think I did either. <laughs> Um, and I am using all the called for everything. So it's here it is. Oh, I'm just obsessed with it. So I worked really just from the mountain over since the last floss tube and I love it. Mm. It's super cute. It is beautiful. And my new potential house <laughs> has like this dark, it's got like a foresty green hallway. And how cute is this gonna be on that foresty green hallway wall? Shut your face right now, it's gonna be adorable. I can't wait! <laughs> so, what was that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm too large for this chair, I guess. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so, I love this piece. I can't wait to keep that stitching on it, and I'm just excited! Yay! And now I'm excited because I forced myself to put it away for five days. Like, I worked on it for five days and then. It's like, okay, I'm gonna pull something else out. <laughs> and now I get to pull it back out because we filmed. So I get Yay. another rotation of it. <laughs> Sweet. Silly rules you make for yourself in cross stitch. Huh? And it is weird, isn't it? Like, um, I was watching Chris the Camp at Stitcher yesterday and she was like, I don't, I don't give up anything. I do what I want, I know. what I she's want. She's so funny. She's she, right though. Like, she was why like, not? You only live once. Do for what Lent. you want when you want. She was like, for Lent, I'm giving up, giving up things. Yeah, good idea. Which is funny. It's a great idea. Haul. Haul time. You first. So. Because you have a lot. Yeah, apparently I do. Um, we joined a um, Zoom with Alicia, the fanciful, the fanciful flamingo. flamingo. And she had invited one of her friends um, for Farmhouse Needle Art. Needleworks, I'm sorry. And I had just seen these on um, Annie B's. You gotta pull out the best part of the whole thing. Oh, I know, it's right here. These thread beds. Oh my God. That have the pocket on the side. Are you kidding? I know. How amazing They is that? are so great. I'm and it comes so... with the bag. Yes. So great deal. They are. So of course I had to kit some stuff up. So I kitted peppermint and pine. Mom did believe that you cannot have an a, empty cross stitch an bag. An empty cross stitch bag. It's sacrilegious. It is. So I don't have any that aren't kitted. So I, I have stop. many. <laughs> I gotta stop buying bags. Although I gave <laughs> Abby four bags, so now I don't have as many oh, bags. Oh no. I should probably give her some of mine. 
And then Como Stitches was having a sale. I, I'm so mad I missed this one. I love that I fabric. I know. So um, I wasn't able to get the matching thread bed. I have to have a thread bed. So I got this one, which is very it's cute still. Spring. still yeah. yeah. And it's cute, cute, cute. So I got a thread bed. And then because I needed to kit something up and I've Done. wanted to do this one, this I know. <gasps> I know. I love the sheep at the bottom. And I got the Vicky Clayton silks. I haven't ever used her silks before. Are you planning to put them on drops or are you going to leave them on the bobbins? I think I'm going to leave them on the bobbins because I have the thread bed. And I'm going to stitch this on Marbled Bunny by X Jew Designs. 18 count. It's so like what the I controversy do. of floss tube is how do you pronounce that? Does that fabric? X Jew? See, some people say X Jude, some people say X J U, and oh, some I have people say somebody... X Jude, and I'm like, oh, what well, the hell is it? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. Actually, I don't know. So then, I love this one too. This bag. <gasps> and I bought these little things. I am gonna put um, at Michaels for a dollar, and they're a little, just a little container for my Vicky Clayton's. So you and also bought one. the Vicky Clayton's for this? Yes. Because nothing can travel alone. Duh. Kathy Walker says that, so it must be true, right? <laughs> and I'm going to do all of the summer. Summer Schoolhouse series. Schoolhouse by series, and this is them all finished. And I was thinking that I was going to do them all as one piece. You're crazy pants. Uh, but I like them in that box. Yeah, and you were just saying, like, I you know. don't want... Like, you don't have the space for, I like, don't, big... I don't, no. And, like, things. up above my cabinets here mm -hmm. would be a great place to put cross-stitch, but, like, you're not going to be able to see it very well, and yeah. I want to see stuff, so, yeah, it's not going to go up there. So, those are my bags that I bought. This is another Farmhouse um, Needleworks bag. I love that fabric. And then Emma texted and said... Guess what? Como Stitches is having no. a uh, color and cotton. Color and cotton. Sorry, is having a sale. Get some fabric. And I was like, okay, I don't have to be told twice to buy fabric. Duh. So this, is, why don't you show yours, and then I'll just show the one that I don't okay. have. That is. You already had yours out of the bag. But... I'm sorry. <laughs> we both got twenty count Chantilly. Yep. Which is a great neutral. And we both got 20 count aged paper, which is another great, more brown neutral. And then she got this boardwalk. gray boardwalk. Yeah, and these are great. I I'm can't so wait. I've never stitched with color and cotton I before. haven't either, so I'm very excited to try them as well. And we both got 20 count because we were inspired by Stephanie after she talked about... I don't know, have much, 20 count, so well, I'm actually grateful that I did buy this. She was saying how um, she likes the size of stitching on 40 count, but doesn't like that she can't see 40 count. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? That's a great point because I can see this 20 count Ada just fine. Yeah. And, and it's the same it's size. The same size. Yeah. So, so it's going to be exciting. I'm excited about it. Yes. Okay. So I have... Huh. More. Two more. Three more fabrics. <laughs> Crinkle, sorry. Um, I got a whole yard. A whole yard. Of needle and flax dirty teacup. A whole yard. <laughs> so you got to do a bap. No. I can do what I want. <laughs> but That's I love 20 dirty. count too. Yeah. So do a bap. Mm-hmm. And it won't be as big. It's beautiful. 20 count. It's a whole yard. I can do lots of baps. You could. Um, then... I had to order more um, dinky dyes for that bushfire. I thought I was going to run out for she the Valentine. She thought she had to. Yeah, so I got the bushfire right here, but then I was like, well, thread can't, can't travel, travel alone. alone. So I got some more dinky dyes because I think that this one is the one I'm going to do the winter Quaker in because that will be my next start. But this is really like variegated and pretty. And this is called Coral Sea. It's pretty. So I'll be doing them all on I the really same fabric. I like this fabric. green one. It's like greeny bluey. Yeah. How you know gorgeous. what that reminds me of? I can't get it to focus. There we go. The Serenity fabric from uh, um, Atomic oh, Ranch. Oh, yeah. 
It's like that color. It's pretty. It's pretty. Yeah. So anyway, I got some dinky dyes, but then I, I got this from Hobby House and I had never ordered from Hobby House before. And I have never tried seraphim fabric before. So I was like, well, I'm going to try Kill two seraphim. birds with one stone. So this is 18 count prairie grass, which is just a really great neutral. Can and you tell we like neutrals? I mean, really, that's mostly what I stitch on. And then, I mean, since I was already buying more fabric, this is 18 count Duxbury by Fox like that and one. Rabbit because... I only have one other piece of fox and rabbit, and I haven't stitched on it yet. Um, I was trying to find some fox and rabbit Ada after Helen D's video where she was like, "Oh yeah, fox and rabbit Ada is to die for," and I couldn't find anything that was neutral. You didn't tell me they had it at Hobby House. Well, I didn't talk about it with her, so <laughs> I didn't know. So Hobby House sends it in these bags, but I could I tried to rip the sticker off so I could put it on the thing. I'm gonna have to make some labels. But that's my haul. <laughs> I'm actually pretty light. I've got these two um, fat quarters of 20 count color and cotton that I already showed. And then I signed up for the 2024 Atomic Ranch Fabric of the Month Club because I'm weak and I love Atomic Ranch. <laughs> Literally, I think 75% of, of my collection is Atomic Ranch at this point, but if you like a I fabric, love, you know. I love the way their fabric stitches up. Mm -hmm. So this is Vanilla Cream. Which you have, right? Which I have in a 16 count Ada. Yeah. But now I have it in a 32 Lugana. And awesome. this is a little bit more yellowy than the Ada, Ada is. So. Well, oh, there's always color differences. Yep. And then I ordered from the Daily Stitcher because I needed some floss, which you'll see in a second. And I got, I don't remember what this is. Oh. It looks like vintage country mocha. 18 count fat quarter of chocolate milk by oh. Fabrics by Stephanie. That I'm stitching on um, one of my whips and I love this fabric. Yeah. This fabric is good. It's showing up a lot more green than it is in It person. is not. It's like a very neutral brown. Yeah. Yeah. So going to have to find something to stitch that on. I guess I'm going to have to start things, guys. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> Yeah, I love to start stuff. So then while I was on the Daily Stitcher, what I went for was a bunch of threads because I am participating in the Leap Year Sal that Chris the Camping Stitcher is hosting. And this is not, don't worry, this is not haul. I bought this before the new year. But I wanted to show it because I want your guys' opinions. So for that leap year sale, I'm going to be starting Blackberry House by Plum Street Samplers. I did not realize how big this was, though. Yeah, this is 170 or 167 by 244, so it's going to be big. But these I colors, like it. though, oh and my these land, colors though. are stunning, 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 stunning. I am obsessed with them. I'll do what everybody does: twist them. They're so pretty. Oh, yay. I can't wait to start it. And you should show what <laughs> yes. you're going to. Okay. So I got this fat quarter for the fabric of the month for um, vanilla cream from Atomic Ranch. And I was like, oh, that works perfect. Like done and done. And then my Chantilly. So this is, this is vanilla cream with all the floss. I'm trying to make it focus so that the colors show better, but. Okay, and then this is Chantilly by Color and Cotton. And I think I'm leaning this way mm -hmm. because it's gorgeous. And this is a 32 count, so it'd be big, er, and this would be smaller because it's 20 count. Yeah. So I think, but. I mean, both fabrics work. They're pretty similar. This one's just a lot more bright. So the colors would definitely pop more on this one but it'd be the more right size on this one. So I'm like. And also mm -hmm. you're gonna be one strand on this one and two one strand, strand on, on this, that one. Yeah. So. I know you prefer two strands. I prefer two strands because I like doing the loop method. I can show you how to do the loop method with one strand. Yes, you'll have to. I think I'm gonna do the 20 count, mm -hmm. but I've got a couple should. weeks to decide. So let me know in the comments below if I should do the 20 count color and cotton or the 32 count um, atomic wrench. 
I'd love to hear your opinions. <laughs> and that's all of my haul because... Well, um, because you mentioned no the leaf yourself, I did show the Lord's Prayer before um, in our video with Stephanie that I wanted to start this. This is what I'm starting for my leap year, Sal. And this is a bath. And I could put this <gasps> on dirty, dirty teacup. Tea but I already have some fabric that I love for it. Oh, yeah, we picked that out with yeah. stuff. Yeah, so this is um, 20 count fiber and one milk and honey. But, I mean, dirty teacup works for everything. But I think I'm going to do the milk and honey. Because, I mean, why not? Because why not? And I have all the 103s. And I, I was watching, like who were we watching that was saying that the bees of holly. Holly. Oh my God. Okay. Stop everything. Finish this video. Don't finish then... this video. <laughs> stop it and run to go see Holly Neal. H-O-L-L-Y. Okay, she changed her, her YouTube name this morning. Oh, no. <laughs> it's Hobbies of Holly. If you follow her on Instagram, her, she's Holly's of Hobby. She changed her YouTube name to be more easy to find under Holly's. Hobbies of Holly. Hobbies of Holly, and then. she's amazing. I, I love, her. love her. And she is just so crafty. And just, you can see what a good soul yes. that Holly has. And I love, love, love her. So please, please, go see. Go support her. But anyway, she gave me a little tip yesterday is with the 103s to use a beading needle. So I'm going to try that on, on this to see mm -hmm. how I like it. Because I have never used 103s before. So I'm excited to start this for the leap year style. Cool. Was there anything else before? Um, I have one thing, but do you have anything else you wanted to talk about before Box of Shame? Um, I think we had those questions. Yes. But while we're talking... <coughs> Sorry. You're good. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Um, while we're talking new floss tubers, I wanted to mention our besties, Mary Lou and Amy, who are the two crossed stitchers, and they did so good on their first floss tube, and they kept yelling at me saying, Emma, we need your help, and no, you don't, <laughs> girlfriend, you did great. <laughs> they did amazing on their first floss tube, and it's really good. Mary great. Lou is, oh, I mean, she's I... She's such a prolific stitcher. She's yes. so good. And... Amy, holy moly! I know, like she just got I, into it. I did not realize how much she had been stitching. So mm -hmm. good job, Amy! Wow. Also, does this mean you're not going to be monogamous anymore, Amy? I think she said that. Did she? Yeah. Oh, I was multitasking. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I was. So yeah. do check out the two crossed yes. stitchers. Two crossed stitchers. We'll cause... put them in the description box below. And also, same thing with Holly. Holly too. I love Holly so much. Were and... there any other flash tubers you wanted to mention? I mean, there are so many that There's I so could many. mention. You know, like... I've been liking Lost Our Needles. They're another. They're a new mom and daughter. Yes. Um, they have blown up. They have almost 3,000, or I think they hit 3,000 yeah. subscribers. So yeah. I'm sure you guys know of them, but they're really fun to watch. Um, also, I should stop saying that, like, I'm sure you know of them, because I just stumbled across Emily C., never heard her before, and she has over 9,000 subscribers. Yeah. So, like, I think that the subscriber count doesn't matter. Any. There's so many floss tubers to There's watch. so many. So, you know, you get your favorites, and then mm -hmm. I think, like, you're like... Oh, I'm in always going to watch them. Yeah. And then it's hard to bring new people in because mm -hmm. it's, you know, you watch what you watch. Yeah. And we talked about that with Stephanie. It's like, who do you run for? Yeah. Who do you who, drop everything? Who do you drop everything for? And mine is running with scissors, stitching with Jane and Julie. <sighs> I love them. They're so much fun. I love them. Yeah. And also Brenda and the Serial Starter. I stop everything for them. So, Carol salt box like yep. I mean those are the ones and My, two needles pulling thread obviously duh. they're our besties in real life so it's fun to watch them <laughs> um I know I love to like be like when's your next floss tube coming <laughs> well because like we talk with them more than once a week mm -hmm. so then like but we don't see their stitching so it's fun to yeah. see it. um but who I run everything for that they haven't filmed in a long time but they just did welcome stitchery <gasps> Ladies, come uh, back out of a regular schedule. I know. You guys, Shelly stitching. Shelly stitching. And, well, Justine stitching is amazing too. Well, yes. They, I mean, they both are. Yeah. But Justine, like, she She's brings the home. energy. Is oh that what it is? Oh, my God. <laughs> I was, Brenna was FaceTiming one of her friends, and I was in the room, and I was talking with them, and she, they, her friend was like, Emma, you bring the energy. And I was like, <laughs> 
16 year old said I bring the energy like yeah that's a compliment you're that, that much older if a 16 year old said I brought the energy I'd be like doing car wheels <laughs> anyways yeah it's fun um Floss Tube is a great place to be, and you should not be scared of starting one if you I want know. to. I know. I'm so Oh, I also excited. wanted to mention, uh-oh, my phone's dying, but we'll have to fix that when we film the thing. Anyways, um, the other Floss Tube I wanted to mention was Caroline's Stitching Corner, or Caroline's Corner. She is the lady that we met at the Jingle Ball from Austria. Oh! Yes, and I've been watching her Floss Tubes a lot more now, and um, she's just got great stitching, so... Definitely go check her out, too. Um, on Instagram, she's Caroline Stitching Corner, I believe, as well. That low battery thing isn't going to show up on the floss No, tube, it's not it? going to show up on the floss <laughs> tube. And if it is, you can see that I have 20% battery. So, oopsie. <laughs> thought it was charging, but it's not. Oh, apparently um, not. Anyways, let, do you want to answer? Do you want to stop, do your box of shame, and then answer questions? Sure. Because now we have a low battery problem. Yeah. Okay. Let's stop. We'll stop, come back. Box reassess. of shame. And then we'll answer questions. Even though it's going to be two seconds for you. Yeah. So, see you in Hopefully. a second. Okay, we're back. And we're going to show my box of shame. It's not, like, that exciting. I feel like you guys have already seen all my pieces, but... Yeah, but um, it's still exciting. Yeah. <laughs> what? Um, oh. Do you want me to be your Vanna? You can be my Vanna. This is the Halloween Quaker by Leela Studio. And as most of you know, I just recently finished this. It's stitched on. I 18 count picture this plus shale. So, um, this one is Lost in Stitches, Winter Small. You can see the other stitching. Oh. And I loved that. That was a quick little stitch I did. Stitched on. Um, 28 count Lugana from RT's brand. And then this is Joyful by Erin Elizabeth. Is it Joyful or just Joy? I thought it was Joyful. I don't know, can't remember. And this is um, Chris the Camping Stitchers Blessing Sampler that I just recently did. Stitch on 28 count Atomic Ranch Oz. And this one is um, Be Still by I can't help you something creative studio shoot I no. don't remember her name um and I have two pieces by her it's stitched on uh 28 count autumn hearth by uh We're killing it. Something. Something. Ooh. <laughs> um, also, I'm not feeling the greatest, so I don't, I can't think. Autumn Hearth by something. Yeah, whatever. All right. This one is uh, Strawberry Fair by October House Fiber Arts. House Fiber Arts. Stitched on 16 count. Um, it's a witch alt, and it is not lamb's will something. <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna have to remember the fabrics. Um, this is from Kathy Walker's salad, and I think that- um, Retreat. It was from her retreat. I think that uh, Helen has these for sale on Cobweb. Um, this is Flamingo Frolic by Helen D. Yeah. And it's stitched on a 28 count uh, blue. Artiste. Yep, from Artiste. And then this one is um, stitched on a 18 count mystery fabric that my friend Rosalie gave me. And this is from the Brenda Gervais uh, Halloween book. And then I have uh, all of the... Um, Celebrations Seasons 2. And if you'll notice on some of them, there are glue marks on the edges because I decided to hot glue these to my thing. And then I realized I cut my um, square too wide. 
So now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna redo them and I'm gonna lace them and you're not gonna see the glue edges because it'll be behind the fabric, but live and learn. I will not be using hot glue. But these are all the seasons and I'm so excited to have them um, done, but I haven't FFO'd them. <laughs> What'd you stitch them on? Um, these are on 14 count Artiste brand as well. This is just a brown Artiste brand. I love all of those. Even that one with the 4th of July, the barns at the bottom. This, this is, is my favorite. Emma's favorite, August with the seagulls. I have that one um, that's more beach. I think it's called Warm Hands On Design. I am gonna start that this summer because I wanna have the Mine, 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 seagulls. Why is this not focusing? There we go. Sorry, there's 12 of them. <laughs> October, November with the pumpkin pie at the bottom. Is this supposed to not have a tail? Yeah, one's a Tom and one's a girl. Oh. I'm fairly certain. Oh, Doesn't it look pie. interesting? One doesn't have a tail. Anyways, hope it's um, done. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I should no, check no, the I guess I have the pattern still. I'll check it. <laughs> I do that all the time. I'm terrible. I think I have something finished and I really don't. Um, this is from It's So Emma Fat Quarter Shop. The oh, Liberty thanks. Smalls, I think they're called. It's called Liberty... Uh, Patriotic typeface. Yes, patriotic typeface smalls. Um, so I'm going to do the Uncle Sam and the Bald Eagle ones still too. And then this one's very seasonal. Um, Life Needs More Chocolate Bunnies by Hands On Design. And this is stitched on a 14 count Artiste brand as well, just uh, gray blue. Um, and I used the whisper threads for his little booty tails. This is before we knew that we had to put our X's all the same way. Can you tell? Uh -huh. Oh no. Only because I looked at it. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't, I don't, I never knew that. I didn't know that either. And we were stitching at an Auburn Panera. And no, this, the library stitchers. Oh, well, I think I learned it at the Auburn Panera. One of the ladies goes, why don't you put your X's all the same way? And I was like, oh, I don't know. And now I do. <laughs> this is from Cottage Garden Sampling uh, Christmas Parade. And like I said, I think you guys have all seen that. And this is on 18 count um, the Stitch Me Winter's Blues. And this is um, Dorothy's Discovery by Silver Creek Samplings. And this is on 16 count Lamb's Wool. And then this is Joy to the World by Emily Call. And this is on 16 count, no, 18 count Butterfly Tea. By? By Emily Call. Oh, Grace Butterfly Notes. Tea, Grace Notes, sorry. This is um, Rudolph and Friends by Brenda Gervais. And this is on a 16 count Luminous Fiber Arts um, Boston Tea Party. And then there's a lot in this box, my friends. This is uh, something Creation Studio, and it's the Nativity Band Sampler. Something Creation Studio. It's the same so, one that did Be Still. Yeah, I'm so upset that I can't remember. But anyway, it's on a 60 count chalkboard. Um, by Witch Elf as well. This is October Fiber House. Um, October House Fiber Arts. Fiber Arts, the Itch to Stitch. And this is on just a regular cream um, Artiste brand, 28 count. And- You gotta finish this. I know, I have a, I have a thing. This is from Heartstring Samplery, Coffee Sampler 2 it's called. And it's on 16 count um, Icelandic beige by Witch Elt. And with all the called for threads. This is Autumn Harvest by Brenda Gervais. 
And this look at is... Look your Smyrna's. They look so good. <laughs> this is stitched on um, 28 count prairie grass by Atomic Ranch. Ooh, what is that one? I can't remember this fabric. Oh, I thought you didn't know that. Yeah. Um, this is Brenda Gervais, and I don't remember the name of this pattern. Something in lollies. Oh, something lollies and crows. Lollies and crows. And this is stitched on an 18 count Grace Notes fabric. No, it was the Stitch Me. It was in my classy, it was in a subscription box, but I don't remember the name of it. Last but not least, this is the last thing. This is my Quilting Bee by the Blue, Fo Blue Flower. And this is stitched on 18 count um, stone, nougat stone by Witch Alt as well. Beautiful. And that's my box of shame. I was, it's not like, it's a lot. <laughs> I was like, it's not that bad. And then I hold it up and then it's a lot. Oh my. So we've got to get you FFOing my friend. Yeah. Well, I FFOed one thing. Woohoo! This year I've FFOed one thing. Pretty good, right? Um, who is it that's hosting this? Oh yeah. My Valentine Quaker can go in this box of shame as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody's hosting a February <coughs> finishing, February finishing frenzy. She's like, I don't care. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm with Chris. I give up giving up things, and I'm not going to start finishing well, either. Well, that's the opposite of what Chris says. Yeah, whatever. Because you're giving up on FFOing. I'm giving up on FFOing. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> so don't. She's a it's process It's terrible. Stitcher. I love stitching. I do. I love to finish things, too. I just don't care to FFO it. I know. She's probably crazy. Helen's rolling her eyes at me. <laughs> okay. She's probably like, finish it. <laughs> <laughs> so we felt like we didn't have a lot to talk about in this floss tube because we both had minimal whips because we've got a lot going on. So over on our Facebook page, b and &E Stitchery and Friends, we put out a little, um, post asking like, do you have any questions for us? What do you want to hear from us? Blah, 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 blah. Um, and you guys asked some great questions. Oh my gosh. So we're going to just kind of go through all of these questions. Um, okay. How do I want to do this? We'll just start at the top. Yeah, I was going to say. I was like, uh, I don't know. Also, speaking of our Facebook group, we <gasps> have a... Um, brunch Zoom tomorrow. Brunch Zoom tomorrow. So February 11th. So please go ahead and join us. Yes. Sorry, you can hear my heat. Yeah, her furnace is kind of loud. But <laughs> we'll be sure to speak up. <laughs> okay, Andrea asked, would there be any way you could talk about fabric and flosses, your favorites, and why? So, what's your favorite fabric dyer? That's an impossible question. Mine's easy. Atomic Ranch. <laughs> I feel I like guess that. mine's easy too. Needle and flax, like dirty teacup. That's, okay, so you can't see it's all. Yeah, black but black. like I love all fabric, and you you yeah. all know that. So like I haven't met a fabric I don't like. <laughs> I'm excited to try this color in cotton though, because the yeah. way it feels is like. Although like a it. close second for my favorite would be that chocolate milk that you got from Fabrics by mm -hmm. Stephanie would be a close second to to my favorite fabric. Yeah. As far as favorite flosses go, um. Sheesh. I'm going to say DMC. That's allowed. Of I, course it is. I love DMC. DMC is it's awesome. It's so versatile. It's so cheap. I love having a full set so I can start whatever, whenever I want. It's, I love it. Um, I'm going to say I really like the variegation of cottage garden threads. Mm -hmm. So I would say for right now, that's one of my favorites. And they are so soft for a cotton thread. Ooh, yeah. They feel like silk, yeah. but they're cotton. And they thread. stitch nice too. They don't fray or whatever. I haven't so. stitched with it yet, but like just yeah. feeling it. Yeah, it, they are nice. Okay, Amy asked, speaking of Amy, from Two Crossed <laughs> Stitchers, talk about some of your stitches and how you plan to FFO. 
Okay, so let's pick one of your unfinished stitches and how you plan to FFO it. Um, this one is one I want to do in a drum. I want to okay. try a drum in this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do that. Yeah. Um, I, I'll talk about my tiny towns because I've got them here. I plan on doing something similar to Helen where I have a little like basket that I'm going to put magnets on and interchange them seasonally. So super excited about that. Um, I actually do have a little bit of a box of shame now. I now have five things that have not been Ooh. FFO'd. I know, <laughs> who am I? So um, I have the joyful that I plan to do exactly what Erin Elizabeth did on her floss tube where she put two small canvases back to back and put the stitch on one and fabric on the other and then put a bow around it. Oh yeah. Super cute. That so looks nice. I want to do that. I'm going to give that a try too because that seems like a pretty easy finish too. Yeah. Okay, Jill asked um, to mention, oh, I skipped one, sorry. Kim asked, your favorite Nashville needlework market designs, but we're saving this for our next floss tube because the next floss tube will be the After. weekend of market. Yeah. So we're going to do our top five just like we did last year. And I can cry because I'm not gonna buy anything. <laughs> Jill asked um, some storage solutions. So, um, I should have brought mine. Do you oh, want to pause? Yeah. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Again. They don't even know. So this is how I store my fabric. I have them all on comic the boards. comic book boards. And now you get to see how much fabric I have. This is just her 18 Shh. count box. <laughs> I have it sorted by count. Ta-da! I there's like still more room. <laughs> oh, there's still more room. I, I love it because you can flip through it like a record store. To try to store, find you know, the like, right color. Yeah. Yeah. So, I love that. That's how I store my fabric. And then I just recently did this. I was storing my fancy floss on rings and I had them in my closet like hanging up back and forth. And I just didn't like the way it looked. It was kind of in the way. Kind of clunky too. Like. Yeah, like if I had a pegboard or something different, I yeah. might have liked it better. And I'm not sure 100% that I'm gonna love this, but I kind of like it, you know. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be good for thread conversions or not, but I bought these photo boxes. And sorry if you can see my crappy sticker, I've gotta take that off. But um, saw these at Hobby Lobby for $14 and they were 40% off. So get some if you want. But what I did was I got them alphabetically by dyer. So I've gassed and weeks in one box and then I have classic and the rest of my gassed in another box. So yeah. Um, and then um, for my cottage garden and my dinky dyes and stuff, I'm gonna do that one by color. So I'll have like um, red, you know, all of them labeled. And I think that I can find it fairly easily, but it, it may be harder for thread conversions. Yeah, because it's not by color. Yeah, but you can still see them. You can see them, so, so that's nice. Yeah, but that's my, my storage solution for right now. It's something new I'm trying. I'm excited to potentially get this house because I'm gonna have so much more room. Right now I just have one of the like four cube organizers and that's like the only like all of my cross stitch stuff is in that yeah and i have this same setup of the comic boards and i set stack them the same way except it's all in one <coughs> charlie sorry we didn't put the dogs back <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> i have them sorted by like 16 18 20 25 28 all that stuff so i have them i don't have a box for each count but I potentially will moving into the new house and um, I keep my DMC on bobbins and I have like five of the little bobbin cases and my fancy floss is on rings. So that's no, my storage no, right no, now. No. We have to be careful with Charlie right now. He um, slipped a disc in his spine. He's a dachshund and uh, he can't jump up and down or go up and down stairs right now. He's on medication. So trying to be careful with him. Okay, her next question was, how do you stitch so fast? I don't. 
I don't think I, that I stitch fast, but um, I do think that the sewing method, you can faster. stitch faster. But uh, just stitch a little every day. Like I try to stitch an hour every day at least. Yep. And then, you know, on the weekends, if I have more time, I'll stitch a couple hours on something. <laughs> I stitch, weekends I stitch probably like five hours a day. So, I'm sometimes, not it just depends on depends what on I'm plans. doing, yeah. you know? Like if I have a day where I can stitch, that's what I want to do. And I want to watch floss tube and stitch and whatever. So that's what I do. And I try to, try to stitch an hour every day, so. She also asked, what's on your 2025 to buy list? I am going to save this for our next video because we're going to be talking about needlework market releases and I think it'd be fun to do like quarterly check-ins on my on my list. Right now- Quarterly check-ins to see if you've bought anything? Quarterly- mm -hmm. I have- listen, <laughs> we're a week and a half into February and I still haven't bought a pattern. I've That's only kind of one. impressive. I've only bought one pattern for all- You're a liar right now. Why am I You have lying? something coming. Yeah, but that's for March. Yeah, but you bought it and paid for it. Whatever, it doesn't come till March. <laughs> I bought the um, scattered, seed. scattered Seeds quarterly pin keep yeah. club. And I'm gonna get one in March and every quarter. So I'm excited about it. It's a whole kit and I love Scattered Seeds. So I think I'm gonna love it. I'm not usually one for surprise things when I don't know what mm -hmm. it is. Cause I'm gonna be so sad if I don't like it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so I am a little nervy, but I do love all of her stuff. I haven't seen a pattern of hers I don't like, so. So just to check in, I'm not gonna say which patterns, but I only have three so far, so. On your list? I, it start like a couple weeks ago, it was like seven. And then I looked at it again and I was like, I'm already gonna take these off cause no. So it wow. works people, it works. Okay, Michelle asked, can you, anything you can give to advice about a Stitch New England newbie? First of all, Michelle, welcome to Stitch New England. I mean, like, so excited. I hope we see and you there. And come say hey. Yeah, come say hi to us. Um, and I think that would be our advice. If there's someone you want to meet and there's someone you want know that's going and you want to say hello, don't be afraid to come in and say hi or we're all stitchers, we're all humans, we're not celebrities, we're just regular people. Like, I was so scared to meet the garden goose the first time and I was like, hi. <laughs> but like, then we chatted and we ended up spending a whole day together in Michigan and like, I love we're her. just regular Therese people. Is awesome. um, I don't, we haven't been to the new venue of Stitch New England obviously, so can't really speak to the layout of this one, but the last one was very, it was set up very nicely. If you get overwhelmed by crowds, find a corner and sit back too so you yep. can't see them. That helped me a lot yep. because I do get crowd anxious so yep. it definitely helped but also bring your pocketbook is what I wanted to say <laughs> because you were gonna spend You're a lot gonna of spend money. some money. <laughs> Mary Lou asked what's your favorite national market release? Saving it. You're gonna have to come back for the next one. Um, Karen asked any new info on the retreat? We will be announcing another vendor on February 11th. We're on a three week announcing schedule, so keep an eye out on our website. That's and all I'm gonna say. It's it's available on our website, but it's also available on the Facebook group as well. We're we're put, we're posting. The it Facebook both group is available to only paid attendees. Yeah. The website is available to anyone. So right. if you can't if you're not going and you still wanna know, it's on our website. And also if you're on our wait list, you know, we have had some people drop out and we've been yep. able to replace them. But if you think that you may wanna come Join the wait list because there's always people that something happens. Yep. You just never know. You never so. know. And no. also, sneak peek of whatever. I'm not going to say anything about what it is, but our goodie bag is... Coming out good. Wow. I'm excited. Shirley that is like... The crafty guy. Oh, I love her. She's so amazing. Um, Edith asked, where do you both work? Um, I work in Augusta at a printing corporation. I am an account manager, which means that I herd monkeys. <laughs> or cats or whatever. Whoever it is. <laughs> um, I try to keep people organized and people run amok. So it's, it's crazy. I work for a public accounting firm also in Augusta, Maine. And I am a senior auditor catch fraud, not feelings. Um, and I also feel like half my job is hurting monkeys and trying to get the documents I need from clients. Just send me your stop. Anyways, 
that's what we do for work. Um, Lee asked, would love to know if on higher count fabrics you stitch two over two or one over one. I think people traditionally do two over two. So I stitch two over two on 14, 16, 18 count Ada, as well as like 25, 28, and 32. Anything above that, like a 20 count, a 36 count linen, which I've never done, but I would stitch one. one. Excuse me, one over one. Um, or one over two. I think it depends on the linen and the the thing because like sometimes on 18 I stitch one and sometimes on 18 I stitch two it depends, it depends on, on it does it depends on how tight it is yeah like if I look at it and I go oh I don't like the coverage of this I'll use two strands or yeah. if I if I'm having a hard time pulling the the thread through I'll be like oh I've got to switch this to one strand yeah so most of the time I go by 18 and higher I do one strand, anything lower, I do two strands, but I have swapped before. Like I have done two strands on 18 and I've done one strand on 18. I think Usually 20, dependent. I will do one, you know, one, but I've never done a 40 count linen. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, Aaron asked your favorite stitch you have finished and why it was your favorite. I think mine would be the Silver Creek sampler that I did for you. Oh, really? Josh's memorial piece. Yeah, because when I was stitching it, you know, I thought of him. and It was just, it was a good piece. Yeah, yeah. that was my favorite to stitch. Yeah, I love it too. I look at it all the time and I love, love, love it. Um, so it has to be one that you've finished. Yeah, favorite mm. stitch you have finished and why it was your favorite. I don't know. Crap on a cracker. I and mean, I just showed all of these too. Like, I'm going to say my nativity, both of them. Mm. I have always wanted a nativity. So I'm going to say the nativities because that's what I've wanted. And I love the be still and know that I am God too. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I want to give that to my mom mm. for a, either a birthday or Mother's Day. Actually, I should probably finish it for Mother's Day. Yeah. Um, and I want to stitch that for me as well because mm -hmm. I love it so much. Yeah. Okay, Linda asked, this is not about stitching, but how about your wedding plans? What we wedding plans? We still have some work to do. She has a dress, she has a venue, she has the food, she's picked out the bridesmaids dress. She's even picked out my dress, which is so exciting. Did you buy it? I haven't bought oh. it yet. No, I'm going to wait and a I, little okay, while I'm longer. I'm not like bridezilla. I no, let you pick it not. out. So. She totally said, I'd like said, you to wear this, this color, color and you can wear you whatever. But you helped me pick it out yes. because I didn't really know what, what I wanted. It was a collaborative wanted. effort. Yeah, yeah, but like the dress is very pretty. I'm, I'm yeah. excited about getting it. And then um, my other daughter, Brenna, is for bridesmaid as well. So... We, I mean, we still have um, some more work to do. The biggest thing, I need tables and chairs because the vendor we had initially had does not have enough table and chairs for us. Oh, I didn't know that. They only have 120 and our guest list is 145 right now. So. Well, you know what we could do is your bridal party have the long tables instead and then that will take out whatever, right? Chairs. There's 145 people. We only have 120. Tables and chairs, right? 120 chairs yeah for 145 people right but so okay we'll, we'll, take, we'll talk about it later yeah <laughs> we're <laughs> this not is how ready wedding planning is going <laughs> um diane asked i love all your favorite ideas favorite designer favorite floss favorite fabric neat nashville pattern okay we've already done floss and fabric who's your favorite designer brenda gervais erin elizabeth <laughs> done and done um, although like plum street Close second. Oh yeah, I like Plum Street. I'm getting there with Plum Street. There's still some Plum that Street, I'm not... Plum Street, Plum Street. <laughs> I can't hear Plum Street and not think of I that. I know, me too. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, watch Emma's reel on her. No, Instagram. it was an Instagram story. It's gone. Oh, forever. it's gone forever. Oh, it's sad. Gone forever That's... into the abyss of the internet. <laughs> That's a sad day. Okay, speaking of Shirley, the crafty goddess, she left us a lot of questions. Oh so. my god, I could do. We could do a whole floss tube on Just what on Shirley these. said. I know. So, what's your favorite part of the process when picking a new project to stitch and kitting it up? Oh, I think the kitting it up. I mean, I love to pick a new pattern because I love Duh. the pattern to stitch. 
but I also like like the excitement of the fabric and the floss and how yeah. am I gonna do this and and then also thinking like what am I gonna do to finish it later yeah. so I and like I'm not a finisher but I do think of how I want to finish well because you have to be able to picture it you know like yeah. you have to be able to be like oh I want this on my I don't wall think there's anything that I've ever stitched that I don't think what yeah. I'm gonna finish it like so my favorite process is like the fabric to floss like making sure that that's that exactly it works. The, yeah like doing the floss toss yeah and... my least favorite part is cutting lengths of thread mm. I hate that so I have a thread winder so I don't mind I it do too but I, still I sit hate there it. and watch TV and I wind my thread so and I we I put mine on floss drops and I think you do do too primarily yeah I only use floss um drops. the silk ones will maybe be weird to only have bobbins yeah on my um heaven and nature I have the NPIs and I have those on the skeins and I didn't put them on the floss drops so I just have them in baggies yeah so I'm I'm not sure if I'm gonna like that or not I haven't tried it yet so she asked how do you decide which project to put in and when it is special enough that you feel you have to make a new project bag to store it in I love this question to me, every project deserves its own bag. So every project is special enough for a new bag. <laughs> I am not a matchy matchy person. I oh, do I like if it's Christmas, I do want it in a Christmas bag. Or if it's Well that you one know, is easier to like remember what's in it too. Well, I started doing the tags on my yeah. bags. I keep reaching down here, but Emma I already put them on. So anyway, um but I don't know that I've ever made a bag. Well, no, I lied. Um, that bee bag that I had, you made for I made for quilting bee, yep. and then the Halloween um, sampler. I made that patchwork Halloween bag, so I have done it. I guess mm -hmm. so. Um, right now, I have been buying more bags than I've been making, um, which I just I'd rather stitch. I make agree. a bag. You I, know? I, I do like the process, but it is a lengthy process for me because I'm not great at sewing. So it takes me probably 45 minutes to make a standard fabric cross cross stitch bag. So which isn't that long. No, I mean it's not terribly long, but it's not you still, as easy as just clicking add to cart. Yeah, so. and also like I'd still rather just be stitching. And now we so. have Stephanie, who is our friend that we like to buy bags from. <laughs> I know, because I'm like, I see fabric, and I'm like, you made me that bag. Uh -huh. <laughs> and she's probably sick of me so much. I want, I hope she tells me. Like, yeah. um, I've got enough on my plate. <laughs> okay. Do you often convert to your own colors, do a floss toss, or typically just stick to called for? Um, if I can do called for, I usually try to, because um, I like the pattern the way it looks. But on your fabric things look different so yeah. I'm not opposed to changing my floss like you saw with that um, Plum Street but also I have just grabbed fancy floss that I've had and just done a whole conversion so I've done it both ways yeah I prefer to just do call for because I'm trusting the designer yeah I am not like very good with colors like I'm all yeah that looks similar but the undertone is different you know what I'm saying like yeah. I I can appreciate that they do that for me. Charlie. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, are you challenging yourself to try something new this year? And if so, what? I am challenging myself to not buy anything. Does that count? But also, um, I want to try stitching on linen. So. Mm, I guess I'd like to try FF. Like, I wanted to try doing that drum and I'd like to try FFOing Different more. Different FFOing techniques. Yeah, yeah. I want to do it more. And I'd like to get better at it. Like sometimes when I'm lacing stuff or I'm doing things and it gets cattywampus, I'm like, so bad at this, you know? like You just gotta take your time. Yeah. I mean, we all time. have to take our time yeah. to do it, but like I'm, I think the more you do it, the better you get, the better you get at it. All right. Another person said at your upcoming wedding. You saw that, how that's going. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. What about your job and how are you settling into your new home? Um, I think I mentioned last time that it still doesn't feel like home yet. And I still feel that way. Like all of my things are here and like I spend a lot of time here. 
but it still feels weird. Um, I don't know when I'm going to feel like it's home. There, you know, there's still things that I'm looking for to like decor wise. You know, when you move into a new house, like not all of your decor goes and there's like pieces of furniture that I want to I want that I want to get and I'm I'm looking for, but I really haven't found like that piece that I'm like it's perfect. And except I except we did it at Hobby Lobby and then it was, it was janky. Like yeah. it was like you wiggled it was like a end table thing. You wiggled it and it was like Whoa. Yeah, and I just didn't want to get it. No so. wonder it was 35% off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Caroline said, Emma, I saw you using Morgan Hoop. Can you show me how you keep your tension in the, how you tension your fabric in there? I am actually going to do a reel about this on my Instagram because I think it's going to be too hard to do it on a floss tube. So watch out for that. I will post that, um, if not this weekend, then definitely next weekend um, or sometime during the week. I just recently got a Morgan Hoop and I love it too. So They're great. They, are, they really do keep the tension well, better than my nerges do. Okay. And I love a nerge too. That was the last question. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so if you ever have any questions for us, um, yeah. reach out to us on our Instagrams or our Facebook also, group. Also, we love you ladies and we really, yes. really appreciate uh, Our Facebook group is a wonderful place where people are like, sharing their finishes or asking questions or whatever and it's I fun. appreciate that more than you all will ever know like you guys have really lifted us up and kept us going um, through a lot so yes I cannot say thank you enough and thank you for helping with this floss tube because we wouldn't have been able to do it without you definitely and we look forward to stitching with you Yes. Um, and hopefully in the near future, we have a little surprise for you. So we have a couple of things in the works. So that's all I'm going to say. Okay, go ahead because... You don't know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about. Can we make it happen is the other thing. We can. We can. Make you it. told me you could. I know, I know. <laughs> we'll see. I need her technical help with it, but we'll have something, a little present for you guys. On the Facebook page. Yes. So please join our Facebook if you would like to participate. So. Cool. Well, stitch what makes your heart happy. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>